what's going on guys casual savage here and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to improve your video quality in premiere pro so here we are in premiere pro and i'm going to be using this clip right here this of course has nothing done to it yet this is all shot on an osmo and as you can tell it's pretty flat in terms of colors so we can make this look a lot better. Now, I always recommend adding this on an adjustment layer. I don't recommend adding it on directly to the video. So simply right click in your project, select new and select adjustment layer. From there, make sure this matches your video, select okay. And then simply drag this above your video and spread it out across for however long you want to. So to bring up LUT, we need to come over to window and from here, you can see it says Lumetri color. So we can expand this out a bit so the video is big for us. And over to the side is where we have all the stuff we can use. So first of all, I recommend going over to Creative, select Look, and I recommend the Fuji 250 Kodak 2395. That's how it looks. So it has more of a fade to it, but everything will look a lot better after we've done all the other editing. So I like to bring up the fade film just a little bit. Then the sharpness can also come up a little bit. Vibrance as well, a little bit as well as saturation, you can go up or down. I guess it really depends on the mood of your video. And then right here we have the shadow tint. So Hollywood, of course, like the orange yellow look, uh, maybe horror movie, more of a blue look, cold feel, I guess you can say. I'll stay right here though. And then of course you have highlight tint, something I never actually use, but you can experiment with that. Then from here, I reckon going over to the basic correction. From here we have the white balance. So you can see, you can change it from here if you want to. And that's how I will be having mine. And then from the white balance, this is where we have everything that will make a big impact on the video. So the exposure, usually I leave it the same, but I may alter with it later on. Contrast, I like to bump up because I think it does make it look a lot better. Not too much though. Highlights. It's optional, depends how you actually need it. The way I usually judge what I need, I put it all the way up, see how it looks, then I put it all the way down, see how it looks. You can see without the highlight it doesn't look as good, so I'm going to turn that highlight up a bit. Same for the shadow, turn it all the way down, it doesn't look the best, all the way up, too bright, so then we can come halfway. Now we have the whites, I'm going to turn them down because you can see it's quite bright already, and the blacks I will also turn down a bit as well. And then of course, like I mentioned, I will now come back to the exposure, and I'll put it up a little bit just like that. So that's done here. The saturation you can mess with again if you want to, but remember we had that in creative down here as well. So I won't be touching that again. The final thing we have is curves. So I always recommend putting a dot here and a dot here and simply make an S shape like that. Another way you can do it is put a dot in the center and simply bring it down or bring it up. So there's two ways you can do that. And you don't have to have the point in the middle, of course, you can move it around however you want to. So I will actually have mine the first way I showed you. So one dot here, one dot here, simply making a little S shape. And that is it. So if I take off the adjustment layer, that's before, that's after. You could tell a huge difference in terms of colors. The colors now pop a lot more. So if I just take everything off one by one so you can see how it looks, uh, first of all, we'll take off creative because that's the first thing we put on. Straight away, you can see a big difference. Still looks okay though. It's just a bit more flat in terms of colors. Take off the uh, basic correction. You can see there are little adjustments that happen there. And then we take off the curves. And that just removes everything back to a very flat image. Then playing it through, you can see it works very nice and smooth. And of course, adding all of these effects will bump up your rendering time or exporting time, so just be patient.